G'day, Glav here. Welcome back and thanks for checking back in. Remember, please hit that subscribe button if you like these videos. This ride is a weekend jaunt with some of my mates staying up the Sunshine Coast, which is north of Brisbane, for the weekend with partners. All up, this trip for me is about 760 kilometres over the four days. We travel some great motorcycling roads, which is worth noting if you're riding around Brisbane. Well, it's Friday the 13th and we depart after lunch. We ride from Brisbane out through Debra, which is a nice little regional town. We often stop at Debra for coffee and a feed, but not this time. <laughs> So here we are leaving Debra and heading up Mount Me. For a motorcyclist this is one great bit of road. It has the tight stuff at the bottom and then the open sweepers at the top as you go across the mountain with brilliant views. We'll stop at the lookout and give you a perv there. Here we are at the Mount Me lookout. In the distance you can see the Glasshouse Mountains, but unfortunately due to the smoke from the recent bushfires all around southeast Queensland, you can't quite see out to the ocean coastline, which you normally can. From Mount Me we head on to Mullaney, which is just more great riding, incorporating both tight and wide open corners. We'll stop again for a perv this time at the Mullaney lookout. Well here we are at the Mullaney lookout, again looking out at the Glasshouse Mountains but unfortunately still can't see the coastline. From the Mullaney lookout here we're going to head to Montville. There's another nice lookout that will stop on the way before Montville. <laughs> This is another lookout just before you get into Montville. Great view from up here, apparently from the locks, it, this might be a lover's area. Um, unfortunately, still can't quite see out to the coast again because of the smoke haze. From here, we'll stop at Montville from a coffee. Montville's a really nice little town, really picturesque place, built right on top of the mountain. Great through the week, but you can't move here on a weekend because it's full of tourists and day trippers because it's such a lovely spot. Lots of restaurant, coffee houses, motel, hotels, etc. Well here we are at the top of the mountain at Montville, we stopped for a coffee or a beverage, 
What a great view with this restaurant cafe built, in, built right on the edge of the mountain. So leaving Montville, we'll head through Flaxton and then down the mountain to Nambour and then on to Yandina Creek where we'll be stopping for the next few days. Again, we purposely stay away from the M1 or Bruce Highway as it's known. These are more great roads to ride for motorcyclists. Here we are at our digs for the next couple of nights um, in Whistler Ridge Drive at Yandina Creek. Great view looking over the valley beneath us. So on Saturday the 14th of September, our mate Lucky Phil joins us for a ride. He's recently got rid of his Kawasaki Versi 1000 and purchased a reasonably new, couple of years old, Harley Davidson Fat Bob. Christ, Harley should be paying me. He just finds it a more comfortable bike to ride, acknowledging that everyone is different. Today we're firstly heading to Kenilworth, which I've not been to in 40 years. Some good regional roads to ride. <laughs> As it turns out, Kenilworth is a pretty trendy, cool little regional town. We're going to stop here for a bite to eat. From Kenilworth, we head towards Gympie through the Merry Valley. Again, this is a great bit of motorcycling road with both tight stuff and sweeping stuff. Good spot to ride. We travel through the Merry Valley, which is a picturesque spot, and wind up in Gympie. At Gympie we turn round and we head back on more regional roads back to our Yandina Creek digs which we spend another night. So back at Yandina Creek it's time for a beer on the balcony before everyone else gets back. It's a beautiful sunset as you can see here and the local kookaburra turns up and sits on the balcony rail waiting to be fed. Couldn't help ourselves and we hand feed him some meat given kookaburras are carnivores. So it's Sunday morning and we're packing the house and loading the cars and bikes up ready to go home and guess what I can't find the GoPro. Check the bike, check the house, check the car, check everything, can't find the friggin thing. So we finally, after looking for an hour, finally resigned myself to I've lost the bloody thing and I'm gonna have to replace it. By this time I've got the screaming shits and so I decide to ride straight down the M1 home, about 140, 150 kilometres, full stop. Get home, start researching replacement cameras, etc. Well, today being Monday, some good news. A mate rang, was speaking to the homeowners that we rented the digs from, and they found my GoPro in the bath, wrapped up in towels. Not sure how it got there, just happy for it to have been returned. And therefore, I was able to today, Monday, drive back up to the coast, but this time to pick the camera up from a Coolum real estate agent. As it turns out, not a bad place to go for a coffee. About 140 odd kilometres up and back, so 280 kilometres for the day. Um, and Coolum is a really nice place. I haven't been there for 30 odd years, but it's a pretty schmick place, let me tell you.
Well, that brings us to the end of another Glavs World video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, people, life's so very short. Therefore, live life today.